once the quick new program generator interview, interview is completed, then you must teach the positions in the quick editor. The quick editor parameters, position parameters, are defined as follows. The gate clear position is the position to allow the robot to rotate an auxiliary axis to enable the tool to clear the rear gate. If a gate clear position is not required, you still have to fill out the position, but it can be the same X and Z coordinates as the waiting above mold position. This will allow the robot to move directly to the weight above mold position without rotating one of the auxiliary axes. You cannot leave any positions undefined, meaning in a question mark state. All positions much must be taught in all of the parameters for the program to continue. If a parameter position is left undefined in the question mark state, when the robot reaches that parameter, it will go into a block stop mold, mode requiring a position to be taught. The waiting above mold position is the center line position for the X and Z axes to be able to clear the stationary half and the movable half when entering the mold. Once again, the gate clear position for the X and Z can be the same as the waiting above mold position if it is not required to rotate a auxiliary axis while clearing the rear gate. The takeout position is the position in the mold to receive the parts from the ejectors. The takeout position is going to be used whether you select a smart removal or traditional takeout. The exit mold position is the position the robot will exit to holding the part prior to giving the permission for mold to close. Reject parts position will be available if the selection in the interview process for the reject sequence was selected as yes. The reject parts placing position will be the location the robot goes to if a startup reject was selected or a machine reject signal was given. All parts and runners will be dropped at this location. The QC placing position will be appear in the quick edit parameter if the selection in the interview process was made. The QC parts placing position will also drop parts and runners at this location based on either a auto switch being activated or a QC count being reached. The sprue cutting position, which you can have up to nine separate sprue cutting positions, is the position the robot should be in when the nipper is activated and cuts the gate. The clear above sprue cutter can either be the y-axis or the x-axis, depending on the interview selection. The y-axis will be moving out of the nipper to vertically up, to the distance that it's safe to clear to move to the next sprue cutting position. If you only have one sprue cutting position, you can leave the defaulted Y to zero. The parts placing position can be up to 16 separate part placing locations. Placing one will be where first part is placed and then the robot will move to the second placing position, the third placing position, so on and so forth. The clear above parts position is used when we have more than one placing position. You can teach a height above the place part that the robot will clear to and then move to the second placing location. If only one placing position is required, then you can leave the defaulted Y position at zero.
the robot, after placing all of the parts, will always move to zero to return to the mold. So if only one place location is required, it not, it's, does not require you to change this value. The runner drop position is a position that can be selected in the interview process to drop the runner either before dropping the parts or after. This is the location that the runner or runners will be released at prior to either going to the place location or after coming from the place location. The reference travel placing position this is used in the generated homing program from the quick new process. The homing routine requires a location that if the robot was stopped mid cycle and there's still parts on the end of arm tool, where should the robot go to release these items prior to going to the home position? The reference travel placing position will also drop the runners, if runners are attached to the end of arm tool at the time, as well as parts. The home position is always defaulted to zero. When you home the robot, if you do not change the home position, the final homing position will be all axes at zero. If required, you can change the homing position to anywhere in the work cell. The robot will go through the complete homing routine, releasing parts and runners before returning to the home position, wherever the inputted axis values are. The end of arm tool change position is a peripheral program that will allow you to Drive the robot to a tool change position that a technician can work on the end of arm tool. The end of arm tool change position is only executed after the homing routine is completed. To activate the end of arm tool change position, select the mode of operation button and select end of arm tool change. Once again, the end of arm tool change will only execute after the robot executes the robot reference routine, arrives at the home position, and from that location, it will drive to the end of arm tool change position.